A local school system is facing a lawsuit over the way it handled some racy student pictures on the Internet. The American Civil Liberties Union filed the suit against Smith Green Community School Corporation in Churubusco, as well as the high school principal. News Channel 15's Megan Stemble joins us in Studio 15 with this story that has a lot of people talking. Well, Mark, the suit stems from a summer sleepover where two sophomore girls took sexually suggestive photos and then posted them to their MySpace pages. Well, someone printed out those pictures and then gave them to the high school principal once school was back in session. What happened from there is what the ACLU classifies as unconstitutional. Cherubusco High School principal Austin Couch suspended the girls who posted those racy pictures from sports at the school for one year. That punishment was later reduced to 25% of the volleyball season because the girls took part in counseling and gave a public apology to the athletic board. We stand behind Mr. Couch and decisions that were made at the high school and, and we support our policies that were in place. Superintendent Steve Darnell says the policy broken in this case was that of the Indiana High School Athletic Association. It obligates student athletes to meet higher moral and ethical standards as they represent the school playing sports. The ACLU lawyer who filed a lawsuit against the school on the girls' behalf, though, says the girls' First Amendment rights were violated with the punishment handed down. Students, not in school, have the right to communicate, and this is how people today communicate. We cannot start looking through these communications, which are clearly expressions protected by the First Amendment. We can't start policing them. Kenneth Falk asked theoretically, what if the behavior in question would have been text messages or even conversations had outside of school and outside of the school year? It's all year round. It's not just during the season. Mm -hmm. They do hold them to a higher standard and, and they all know the rules. Opinions on this issue vary greatly, even within married couples. Kurt Bonar and his wife Stacy, parents of a Cherubusco High student, find themselves with differing points of view. I saw those pictures and I don't agree with them, but I'm not so sure I agree with the schools taking that kind of measure with kids when it didn't have anything. I mean, it happened over the summer. Do you want to point out that the video that we use for this story is not a representation of this, the pictures that we're talking about here. If you do want to learn more about those, go to our website, wayne.com. The school has 20 days to respond to the lawsuit filed against it. Reporting in Studio 15, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.